They were ordinary men going about their jobs as railroad attendants, making beds, shining shoes, and cooking and serving meals. In the process, they achieved something extraordinary. They blazed a path for the rise of the black middle class and helped propel the civil rights movement in America. Well, I was contacted and told that the Pullman porters were going to be honored in Oakland. I was uh, kind of reluctant to uh, accept the invitation in the sense that uh, I was not a Pullman porter. I was the son of a Pullman porter, and I was the grandson of a train porter, so giving it second thoughts, I felt that uh, there was a story to be told here. Chicago industrialist George Pullman hired freed slaves in the 1860s as the first porters on his Pullman sleeping cars, known as rolling hotels. The Pullman porters, as they were known, provided high levels of service to wealthy travelers and became icons of an American era defined by glamour and rail travel. My name is Troy Walker. My age is 90 years old. I work for the railroad for 37 years. I worked for the Santa Fe Railroad and also Amtrak, who took over in 1971. By the 1920s, more than 20,000 porters and rail car attendants were working on U.S. railroads, making this the largest category of black labor in the United States at the time. A hundred years, these remarkable individuals provided an unmatched level of customer service on trains across America, and they did so in the face of adversity and were unstopped by prejudice in a segregated workplace. My driver was a dining car waiter. At one time, I worked up as a lounge car attendant. Then in my later years, I worked as a supervisor of onboard services. I retired as an onboard service. Most of my classmates were very envious of the fact that I had the job on the railroad, since at the time, uh, they were hiring only uh, African-American uh, workers for that position. This was respected and dependable work that was available to black men at a time when options were limited by segregation and discrimination. When I first went with the railroad, uh, it was very prejudiced. It took a little time to change because when I wanted to be promoted to, from a waiter to a lounge guard tenant, I went in the office and asked, could I get the job? And it took them a long time before they decided to give me it. And it wasn't that far better than a waiter. Under the guidance of uh, A. Philip Randolph, the Pullman Porters were the first black union to organize. They had the uh, audacity to ask for better benefits. The Porters effectively negotiated for better wages and working conditions for themselves and paved the way for improved conditions for fellow rail car attendants. Uh, both my uh, grandparents and my father worked uh, through the Depression era on the railroads and supported families. And as a result, I was uh, able to go to school. These positions of prestige within the African-American community provided economic stability for porters and their families, allowing them a better quality of life and the opportunity to send their children to college. When I started working for Boeing, uh, I was working in their flight testing area. We were, uh, had taken our plane from Boeing to uh, California to the flight test center there at Edwards Air Force Base. And uh, I managed to uh, meet my father when he came in from uh, one of his trips from Chicago. And I was able to pick him up and take him out to the test airplane that I was working on. And uh, that was uh, a moment I was proud of, and I think he was too, to know that his uh, son was uh, doing something that was uh, far above what he had anticipated he would ever be doing. You know, it's often said that without them, it was just cold steel, eight or nine cars or 10 cars or more, but with them, they gave the train soul. 